where anointing is just for people to fall down, for demons to scream, is no longer going to attract young people to church. Excel in whatever you are doing. Excel in the secular world. And then you can tell them, like as Jesus said, if you don't believe me for what I see, believe me. I say you cannot. You say why? I say because I'm Dr. Apoki. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. No, I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I came to address the International Youth Conference of Christ's Missionary Custodians Church at Worry in their international headquarters. I just did a video about fitting into the digital age. Uh, the modern economy thrives on C.K. Prahalad's theorem of the base of the pyramid. C.K. are the initials. Prahalad is P-R-A-H-A-L-A-D. Prahalad. He was uh, an Indian professor in the Michigan University said that if you can produce anything for those who earn less than $2.5 a day that form the base of the pyramid that constituted 4.5 billion human beings when the world population was 7.5 billion that you will make impact, you will be socially relevant and you will make money. So I have with me here some products I found in this hotel. This is Hollandia milk. In those days, milk used to be in tins. But today, this is just milk. You can use it once or twice or for two people. And you are gone. So milk, you can't afford the big tin. You can't afford the big container. You buy this. This is green tea. Green tea, such it. This is Nescafe. Nescafe used to be in a, a tin, but they sell it in such so the poor man can drink. You have sugar, then you have tea. So that's the economy of today, micronization of economy. But there is contention in the present generation for attention, contention for attention. The gospel musician has to contend with whiskey, contend with Fino, contend with uh, Bonaboy, contend with whoever that is a trending musician for his or her worship or praise music to make impact in this generation. Now, even somebody like me that is a capacity builder, a youth developer, if I do not make impact in my private life, preaching Christ to people, particularly young people, will not make impact. That's why I said you must have structures to back up your scriptures. Some people say that I place so much emphasis on my personal life and my family and what I do. Somebody bought land from me from Senegal. He had not met me before. And I went into the bush to show him his property. He is an Igbo man from Imo State. And I asked him, why did you pay money into my account? You don't know me before, I've never seen you, and you've not been here. He said, I've been following you on social media, and I know that you are more than this money I paid into your account. So, if you are going to impact this generation, you must have made impact intellectually. You must know more than them, if not, they won't listen to you. You must understand more than them, if not, they won't reason with you. Gino Jennings 
in America, a, 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 a pastor, is able to debate even amongst Christians and with other people because he has known the scriptures, he has a thriving church, he's on social media, he's, he's on television or wherever before they are listening to him. The era where anointing is just for people to fall down, for demons to scream, is no longer going to attract young people to church. Excel in whatever you are doing. Excel in the secular world. And then you can tell them, like as Jesus said, if you don't believe me for what I say, believe me for what I do. This generation admires results. This generation admires impact in the sense that what has what you are teaching me, what you are preaching to me, done in your personal life. They want to see it. If God blesses, they want to see you are blessed. If God heals, they want to see good health in you. The church must not preach Christ from a position of weakness any longer. Must preach Christ from a position of strength, from a position of excellence, from a position of authenticity, from a position of integrity, from a position of productivity, from a position of superior knowledge, even in technology. Be the best doctor. Be the best. Lionel Luco was one of the best attorneys. His name is in the Guinness Book of Records for having had more acquittals of criminal, um, criminal cases. His name entered the Guinness Book of Records and is a member of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship. International. In anything you do, the world is earnestly tiptoeing, waiting for the manifestation of those who carry the genetic code of God, the sons of God. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel.